there, my name is Caitlin. I'm a holistic nutrition consultant. I'm the author of a blog called grassfedgirl.com and I've been healing my Hashimoto's with a carnivore diet for over four years. Doing a carnivore diet helps so much with my Hashimoto's that I'm now considered in remission by doctors. I'm so, so excited about today's video because it's all about electrolytes. So I've gotten all the electrolyte brands that I can think of and I'm gonna be going through them, which one tastes best and which one has the best mix of electrolytes and how you should use them. Stay all the way to the end to see every different brand and let me know down below which one is your favorite. And also, if you wanna see a new video about how to make your own electrolyte drink at home without spending a lot of money. Okay, so the first one we're gonna talk about is LMNT. This is actually my first time to try this. I have been using different ones for a long time and I never got this one till yesterday. Um, this is the variety pack, it's 20 bucks. So for 12, it's pretty pricey. And um, it's my first time to ever have them. I don't think they sell it any other way. So you can't get a, a tub of it, for example. So I've already tried the raspberry salt, the this is the citrus salt, and then the lime salt. So um, this one has the most sodium of any I've seen. It has a thousand milligrams of sodium, which I mean, on a carnivore diet, for me, electrolytes have been a game changer. Um, I was feeling really bad when I first started carnivore and I really needed these. Um, you can also get the unflavored, which is not my favorite of anything. Um, this is kind of one of those areas, like a gray area that I let myself slide and have some stevia. So, because this just keeps me going and it doesn't seem to throw me off and into other sweet things. So I just have an allowance on a little bit of stevia. So like I said, this has a thousand milligrams of sodium in one of these. And I would say that um, the this one was my favorite, <laughs> the green one, the lime. Um, you can put it, this is the cup I usually use. So this is a 32 ounce cup and it says you can use between 16 and 32 ounces. So you have to get one of these too. If you do use electrolytes, you have to get one of these because it's so great. I'll put the link down below. Um, it makes it mix faster. So definitely have one of those too. But anyway, this one has a thousand milligrams and it's, but it dissolves really quickly. And it's very good. I would say it's very strong. So you wanna put, I would say put it closer to the 32 ounces of water cause it's very strong. So um, yeah, these are pricey uh, and, but they taste very good. So if you got the money, then load up on these. I'll put an Amazon link below so you can support my channel by using my Amazon link for these. So these are kind of, I would say like the Hollywood, you know, this has got the, the style thing going and it's, they do taste very good. Um, are kind of low in magnesium, only 60 grams of magnesium in milligrams, I mean. And you know, you want about 500 milligrams, you know, three, four, 500 milligrams a day, depending on your person. Like this is my magnesium supplement and it's 500 milligrams in four tablets. And I take this every day. So, I mean, I don't really have to worry about how much magnesium I'm getting because I'm already taking the magnesium in a pill, but if you were depending solely on this, it's not really enough. You need about 400 or so per day milligrams. So just a note on that. And, and you're not gonna get a lot of with just plain salt is potassium. And this Each little packet has 200 milligrams of potassium. So that is, you want about 400 milligrams of potassium a day. One caveat about potassium is you need to have it in balance with your other electrolytes. So it's dangerous to take potassium just by itself. So keep that in mind and it's better to take it in something like this where it's already balanced out. Potassium can have impacts on your heart function. So you don't wanna mess around too much with potassium unless you really know what you're doing or you're a doctor or something. Okay, next up is Dr. Berg. He's very well known on YouTube. I ordered this one because a lot of the other ones were sold out. And so I tried this one and it's very mild. It's not as strong as this other one, the LMNT. Um, so it's a very mild lemon flavor. I got the lemonade. This one is much lower in sodium. So it only has 40 milligrams and this one has a thousand. So 
Um, and that's one little scoop. It comes with the scoop in here. So you can see it in there. There's the scoop and the freshness packet. Um, this was about 30 bucks on Amazon. And um, yeah, it's very mild. I liked it, but you know, it doesn't have that strong taste. So if you like a really strong flavor, it has magnesium, 120 milligrams. Um, the potassium is 1000. So that's a lot higher than the LMNT. Um, so you want about 300 or so to make a difference, to make it impactful. Um, so trace mineral complex, this is, it has the sodium is from a, a Himalayan salt, Himalayan pink salt. So yeah, I mean, I like this one. It's non-GMO, citric acid, natural lemonade flavor. I don't know what that means. Maybe lemons <laughs> and then stevia. So yeah, I'd say this, um, to me, this was like a six out of 10 um, with this one being like, I mean, a nine. <laughs> So just give you an idea of the taste and, but you know, not enough sodium. I think, you know, if you're really struggling with electrolytes, you want to have more sodium than this. Um, but you could just drink more, but it's still not going to really add up 40 milligrams. It's weird. I mean, that's a huge, it's a thousand to 40. I don't get that. That's a big differential there. I'm going to use my Amazon links down below to support my channel. Okay. Next one is Relight. <laughs> This is the only packet I have left. I use this all the time. This is probably my favorite. Um, I've been using it for several years now. This is my favorite flavor, lemon lime. They have these packets and they also have a container that looks like this, but it's black. And, but it's sold out right now. They're having supply chain problems. You know, you've heard that a million times, but this one is probably my favorite. Now we'll tell you it has a little takes a little bit of time to dissolve in water. So um, that's why you need your little doodad. <clears throat> so make sure you have one of these, uh, but don't, it doesn't dissolve immediately, but the manufacturer told me that that is because they don't use something to make it dissolve faster, which would be artificial. So just give it a minute and it will dissolve. This has underground salt from Utah. It is very toxin free because some of the salt is contaminated with heavy metals and plastics and stuff like that. So this one has had a little bit of coconut. So if you are super, super strict carnivore, you might not want this one, but it also has stevia. And again, you can get the unflavored version. So um, this one's more the middle range. It's not super expensive, but it's not um, very cheap either. <laughs> so um, this one is just so good and I use it every single month, but it's sold out. So I will put the links for all these below and when check back when it comes back in stock and you can order it again. Um, so let's see about the chemical composition. Okay, so this one has 810 milligrams of sodium, <clears throat> 400 potassium, and it also has the magnesium, which is only 50. So it's about the same as the LMNT. So it's pretty similar to the LMNT as far as the makeup of it. I wanted to talk about this one too, just because you may see it at your Costco or it's, it's popping up everywhere now. But this one has almost three teaspoons of sugar. So please don't get this and think it's carnivore or keto. Um, that's a lot of sugar and I couldn't find any on their website that were sugar free. So don't get this one and just think it's just like the rest of these that I've been talking about. So. Watch out for this one, Liquid IV. Until they come out with a sugar-free one, please avoid this one. If you see sucralose or aspartame in an electrolyte drink, please run the other way. I don't think those are good to have on a regular basis. I don't drink those every once in a while maybe, but not on a regular basis at all. Okay, another one I wanted to talk about is this Keto Chow. This is the Daily Minerals. I think they have one that's just electrolytes too. I just tried these at Dr. Berry's event here in Nashville a few weeks ago and they were really tasteless. So you could add them into your water and not even know. And this does have a very good balance. This has 600 milligrams of sodium. So this would definitely help you feel your best on carnivore. And it has a lot of other minerals. So just good all the way around. And I put it in my water and I could drink it. A lot of the other ones taste so bad to me that I can't drink them. This also has iodine, which is good. Um, so yeah, definitely get this one if you like 
unflavored. Hey, I just got this Raspberry Ultima in the mail. So I wanted to record my first impressions. It says add it to 16 ounces. So yeah, it's pretty tasty. I got another helper here who wants to taste it. <laughs> okay, he likes it. This one also has stevia and it has um, magnesium citrate. Now remember, magnesium citrate is going to make you go to the bathroom. So be careful with that and be aware of which electrolytes have magnesium citrate. The ingredients look pretty similar to the other ones. Um, it's 90 servings. I'll show you the other package. I got a sample of these. It's a multi-flavor and then I also got a big one. So I'll show you that. Here is the Ultima. I got the pink lemonade. This was not free. I bought it and um, they sent it to me. It has no carbs and it has 55 milligrams of sodium. So that's pretty low compared to the LMNT. It has the citrate again. The ingredients look okay. Um, it has color from beets. Citrate, like I said before, can make you have the run, so be careful. It's good for people like me who are a little on the slow side with Hashimoto's, but this is, um, looks pretty good. It tastes pretty good, so let's mix it up. I have my little thing here, and it stirs up pretty fast, so this thing helps. And I've been drinking this for a few days, because it's the only one I have right now, and it's, it's pretty good. I can't complain. Yummy. <laughs> Ultima. Yeah, I mean, this one's a lot cheaper. It's 90 servings for uh, about 30 something dollars. I had a, they have a coupon. I, I Googled for a coupon. I found a coupon, so I saved 20% off. Um, so just Google for Ultima coupon and you can find that. I'm not an affiliate or anything, but yeah, I don't see what's wrong with this one. Pretty good, but not too high in sodium if you really want that balance of your electrolytes. The last one I wanted to talk about is the Perfect Keto. I'll put a picture here. I've ordered it so many times, but I ran out and the new shipment hasn't come in yet. Um, it is one I like to keep on hand because of the magnesium citrate and it's really helpful for going to the bathroom. <laughs> and it tastes good too. I usually get the pink lemonade. I've had the black cherry. Some people complain about the natural flavors. Um, they claim it's from a natural source, but you know, who knows? And the main thing is the electrolyte balance. So the sodium is about 500 and the potassium is 600. So those are really good numbers. You're really gonna feel that if you are taking it. So it's not like some of them, they only have 50 milligrams of sodium, which I don't understand, definitely. Um, this one has a good mix of electrolytes and like I said, the magnesium citrate is good for those who need it. And um, the taste is great. It's pretty clean and you know, a really good option. They often have sales. I am an affiliate for that company. I do find they have really good products and my husband and my baby like their bars and all that stuff. So it's a really good company and they also often have sales. So check out my affiliate link down below. And it is a good mix of electrolytes. So if you're looking for one, it has Himalayan pink salt is where the sodium comes from and the chloride. So definitely a good option. I Look what showed up just in time for me to finish the video. I got the blackberry and the pink lemonade. So excited. So let's just mix up a cup here. This is the pink lemonade and I'll show you how it mixes up. This one dissolves easier than the Redmond. You can see it's all done and yeah so this is number three on my list definitely use my code below to save on your first order so first choice would be the um, Redmond then LMNT and then the perfect keto so number four I think would be the Ultima and mainly just because it is a little cheaper so 
those are my rankings. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what other questions you have about electrolytes. Maybe I'll bring on an expert, maybe even um, someone you know really well. I hope this video has been helpful. Please let me know in the comments what you think. And I really appreciate you watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.